Howdy, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Hermitcraft Tango here, and we're, we're here. We're doing the thing again. We're back. Uh, I want to thank you guys. First of all, thank you very much for the response on the last What If episode. I'm not going to ramble on like I did last episode about it, but I just want to thank you guys so much. The, the likes on that video are absolutely insane. On both of them now are great, so... Uh, the views aren't quite where I want them to be. I don't think most people are uh, are finding it as much as I want, but either way, I'm super happy with how they're turning out and super happy with the the response and the comments and the feedback are just absolutely great. Uh, but today, today I want to do some more base building here because that is what it seems everybody wants. Last episode, in case you missed it, we built this little potion room here, which is pretty cool, I think. We have like uh, three individual potion brewing automatic things. This is a design I put on my channel a long time ago. So we have infinite stack of regen, fire resistance, and swiftness. And I can change these out if I want, but I figured three is enough. Uh, but yeah, really cool system here. I'm happy with how that turned out. So I'm itching now to just make some more kind of grunt work on the base. And I think today what I want to work on, or at least the, the first thing, I want to... We've had these little, what I've been calling the scorpion tails here for like ever. I think today we're going to take these guys and put them all around the ring. And I really think that's going to help make bring some of the, you know, it's going to bring the teeth in. You know, the, the, it's going to make it feel more evil and stuff with these claws and spikes everywhere, I think. And it's going to make this, this circular walkway feel like more of a significant uh, component of the base. We're going to do that, I think. But first, before I do that, I need to ring these where the four towers are going to be because I need to know. I don't have to build the four towers today. But I gotta get the part where they... Here, let me show you over here. I gotta get the part where they touch the walkway. This ring right there. Uh, all in. So that I can build the walkway up to it. So that I know where the rings are gonna go. But we're gonna get all this fencing in. And the, uh, the scorpion tails. Go. Okay, so since I have to build about 187 of these things around this ring. I obviously am gonna need to become very memorized or very clear on how to build this thing so i have to memorize all the block structure and everything little little hint of what i do like a lot of these times i build some of these things in creative and then try to build them over here in survival uh but nether brick is so hard to see where like one block ends and another block uh starts so i'll usually swap out a lot of blocks with something a lot brighter just to get that contrast so i can see what is going on for instance something like this Hmm, so I gotta figure out the spacing on these and exactly where I want them before I just start going crazy and, and spamming them everywhere. So this line here is my center line, which, you know, lines up right with the center of the main tower. Uh, I already got this guy built here. I kind of like where he is in the spacing. So I mirrored another one over there, or at least that little stump represents where the center of that one will be. We're gonna have like a, a little walkway here that's gonna kind of merge out a little bit and then steps are going to go down i think and mer and meet up with some some platforms off of those guys i think that's at least my goal so i like that this will be a little bit bigger opening right here the next thing now i gotta figure out is how many i want to get like going all the way around so i'm not going to try and build the scorpion tails on an angle i want to keep the same design so the last one is realistically going to be somewhere in this ballpark right here so let me figure that out and then we'll figure out how dense we want to make them probably like one there one in between and then one on the end okay i did a lot of planning which took longer than i expected we have the uh the circles around each of the four towers now so like this i, I say circles they're like more oblong oval squareoids squareoids we, we just made that term squareoids uh, it, they match this tower here uh, so we got that on all three there to uh, to kind of know at least where the walkway is going to go up to. And I have iron blocks here. Let me show you where I think is going to be a first pass of where these scorpion tails are going to go. I took out the old ones, those old crappy ones. Uh, and I have some spacing that I think is okay. I don't want them to be too close together. Otherwise, it's going to be really, really just way too packed in there. So I got them like 13 blocks apart and alternating. So like this one here is right in between those two. This one is right between those two, so they'll kind of piggyback back and forth. There's a longer gap here in the middle, as I said, because we're going to have a little platform that goes down there, I think. Uh, and the things did get messed up here in the middle, but I actually like that. Uh, so instead of building two of these here, which would be like, what, just five blocks apart? Instead, I'm probably just going to build some little mini structure here or something. So neither of these will be scorpion tails. There'll be some kind of other structure. Maybe we'll get to that today. I don't know. But the next step here is as the night is falling, I'm going to put where all these are. I'm going to put in scorpion tails and see how it 
looks. There we go. Phase one of the scorpion tails are in. And I think they look really cool. I like them. There, I know a lot of you are going to say I should add variation between some of them. And I can appreciate that suggestion, definitely. And I would like to. I actually tried to put variation in these, but any variation I came upon this design, I didn't like as much. They just looked all derpy and, and just, ugh. So, meh. So we're going to keep them uh, as clones of each other. Maybe they were, you know, manufactured in a evil factory or something. I don't know. That keeps them consistent. I have no idea. <laughs> but what I want to do now is add a little bit of fence in here. You can see I kind of have it. Like, this is a good example right here. Like, I want about one third of the fence post to be gone. Like, there was a fence here, you know, that kind of was doing something at some point. That one should probably go there. That's fine. This is actually like, you know, just like that. Like it's all busted up and everything. You know, it's not, it's not there to protect anyone at this point. It's just there to show that there was something there one time, maybe. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's do, let's do that all the way down here. And then over here where it's going to go into the center, by the way, uh, I want to do like a little bit more of something like this, like basically just start to make the looks of a platform here. I don't know how far I want to take this out yet, I'm, and this isn't going to be for today. This is going to be for uh, another episode when we start making the floating platforms here with the staircase and everything. But doing something like this, I kind of like, and it gives a little bit more of the... Oh, interesting. That should not be back that far. Uh, okay, I guess it is. Whatever. Something like that, and we'll go another one there. Good. So now you can see, like, there'll be a little entrance right here that will go down the line. So let me finish adding in the fence pose there and i think i'm actually just gonna go ahead and take all of these scorpion tails and do them all the way around yeah yeah they're all done all the way around that took a long time that was really cool though okay I'm gonna, let me give you a little fly through here and show you what we're looking at here it's actually kind of fun to go flying i gotta i gotta fix that over there that's ugly that's unacceptable here we go here we go flying through all the scorpion tails i love this look right here look at this <laughs> this is great. It's given me a lot of other ideas though too. I'm gonna talk about those in a second But yeah, so we got all of them all the way around here again It is keeping the symmetry, but I have some ideas. So let's see. There's a couple things now I could I could work on okay uh, One of the things which I had an idea for and I'm actually kind of like I don't know how well it'll go with the base though But we'll see uh, the idea is for something in the middle here because you can see I have this extra wide area here There is not going to be an entrance into the base It's only gonna be one official entrance into the base and that's gonna be on that side over there uh, But I want to put something a little extra special here just to add a little bit more you know to break up the scorpions and to give the kind of the four corners of the base more of a or the four edges of the base a little more something I had an idea of so we got these scorpion tails here. They're not too tiny, but they're not massive either. They're just the right size, I feel like. I wanted to think, I was thinking about adding a kind of a, you know, the, the, the big daddy scorpion tail that came up, but I want this one to be more, much more organic and have a, a, a core to it. Like this one is all made out of completely another brick. I was thinking of having one that's, you know, maybe like two, maybe three times as tall, two to three times as tall and have a, a red nether wart core to it and very organic very organic which the organic thing i think would look amazing with the other scorpion tails but it wouldn't look good with the rest of the base which is you know not that organic i mean it kind of feels a little, a little bit over there but i'm talking like you know a big claw reaching over with like a you know nether brick exterior but a nether wart interior and just completely random stairs and slight i mean it would almost look like a mess but I think on a large scale, it would look good. And I was thinking of doing like a, a medium sized one there, medium being like twice as tall. Another one over there that would attempt to copy it, but is given as organic, it wouldn't work. And then a much bigger one uh, back here, which this is gonna go soon, anyways, I'm getting tired of this. Uh, but the, the big tail in the back there, I think would look pretty interesting. Like a much larger one, maybe even it forks out and like has things hanging off of it. Just, yeah, I think that would look cool. Uh, and then of course, I, I have the, the base entrance that I'm actually excited about working on over here. And that's going to be more of a, well, I don't even know. I just know that's going to be like a big archway, kind of your traditional evil fortress entrance. Maybe the scorpion tails will carry up on top of that or something I think might be fun. Oh, you punished? You have to look in the corner? <laughs> What's going on over there? Uh, so that's one thing. I could work on those, but I think I want to wait on those. And I think instead... I want to work on something that I've been putting off for a while, or just haven't gotten to in a while. I've been really good avoiding it. And that is, not you, is this guy here. I added the green uh, crevices or fissures, as I was calling them, almost to show like the source of the green energy that's coming to the whole tower. 
And I still, you know, a lot of, I've been getting some questions about, do I want, is that guy chasing me? No. Creepers are just cause such a mess over here. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about, am I going to continue with that theme? And I think so. I think I want to do that now. I want to take another stab at doing one of these things. Maybe even doing it a little bit better. I have some ideas for how I could do it better. I see you. Uh, so, let's see. The, the important thing is to decide where to put this next one here. Can I take off? I'm getting too many, too many creatures in my interior bowl here. And that's got to stop. It's not lit up correctly. Let's see. Let's get some height here. And see... I'm thinking like right there would be a good one. We've got one over here. I want to get like one to two on each side. Possibly two, but I want a good opener. Oh, maybe we'll do one over here. Let's do one over here because this is kind of flat and I don't have lavas and stuff. Lavas? <laughs> I don't have a lava river uh, coming out. So yeah, let's do one right here. It's nice and flat. Right in the... Actually, let's do... Let's do it off to the side here. So we'll do one... Uh, I got no blocks on me, but one from like there to here. And then that leaves me room to do another one on this side. Possibly up a little bit higher, maybe like from here up to back here or something. I think that would be good. So, all right, green glass and start diggy diggy. Hello there, little man. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Are we confused? Ding. Oh, I missed. Uh, missed again. He's quick. He's quick. Get. There we go. Finally. All right. We have a hole dug here. Now, there's a couple things that... Hi, Cub. Uh, a couple things that I learned from the last one that I still want to kind of do better than that first uh, fissure that I did. Uh, let me show you here. So this hole here, a couple things. One is it's deeper. Uh, and two is it goes out, it kind of like goes underneath the opening a little bit. I don't want to be able to see, or I don't want to see too much netherrack along the sides of this thing. So it's going to take a lot of green to do this. And I went with a little more, the last one was a little bit too straight. So this one I curved a little bit and tried to make it feel a little bit more natural. Uh, so yeah, that's the size we're gonna go with here, and we're gonna fill in the bottom with the lime green, uh, and I'm gonna try and keep it all, that's why I got this one little extra one down here, uh, this extra little notch, I guess you could call it, uh, and then I wanna get the, the glass, obviously we're gonna go green glass everywhere here, so let me fill in the bottom here first, green, green, with extra side of green, and, and more green, lots of green, lots of lime, whatever you wanna call it, there's lots of it, uh, oh, okay. I was just talking to Cub. He was giving me ideas for what if. I like it. <laughs> I like the way he thinks. Uh, all right, so we got lots of lime down here. We just took a ton of it. Oh, say, say, spoilers! <laughs> spoilers! Recording! <laughs> anyway, back to Hermitcraft. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> all right, we got lots of lime down here. So now it's time. I, I think I got most of the, like, underhang covered up there like you can see a little bit over there I should probably put a couple there and I should probably get those there too but I think we're good back here all right so let me let me take care of those here we'll do one more layer right here only because you can I generally just don't want to see any of this stuff and it's costing me a lot of green I went through like my whole collection of green just for this one for the for this one thing here but let's see what was it up there was the other one too let me get these up here and then I'm gonna start filling it in with glass yeah, I should really look up the proper way to do this. So I'm trying to get that fog effect, which I'm sure you guys have seen. Like, you've probably seen a lot in Iskall's video and stuff. He did, he does it really well. I should contact him. I know it's like you obviously want to stack a lot of glass up, and you kind of get this fog effect once you get four or five layers of it. But you don't want to stack it right on top of each other. For instance, uh, let me see. Let me go down here. Right, let's see. Like, I've got like a, I have an air gap between this layer and this layer right here. And that's how you get that effect. Because, uh, like, watch. If I go solid... You can see, see how like this one still looks pretty bright or not as dark or not as foggy, I should say. You can see the, the darkness there. This one is fogging out a lot more because it has that air gap because it's actually rendering both pieces of glass. When you do this and you have like consecutive glass in a row, it doesn't actually render it. So that's why you want the air gaps, um, you know, and that keeps that keeps going too. So like I could now they look the same. I could do one that's like that and then like this. And you can see now this one has got the gap and this one, right, this one doesn't. So you can see it's a little bit still, you know, got that little bit more shadow there. So we definitely want to do alternating. What I think I want to do, though, is instead of just doing flat layers across, I want to try, like, zigzagging the blocks. So something, something like this, just to get, like, maximum renderability, I think, between them. I think that'll give an interesting effect because I started doing just the layers. So I'm going to try the... The, the back and forth and like alternating zigzag effect there and see what that looks like. Meh. Okay, well that one was experimental, I think. I, it turned out okay, I think. But definitely not great. 
I definitely not great. I don't know. Probably could be better. The zigzag thing, like I was talking about, just kind of added more noise in there and it made it feel more like glass and less like fog. So I think I want to stick with the horizontal layers. I'm not going to dig this up though again because reasons. And yeah, I think it looks good enough. Uh, the other thing though is I need to make it deeper, I think, too. It only went down like seven or eight blocks from the surface, and I need to go more than that. So we're started on a second one over here, and I quickly ran into a good old friend down here. Hi. <laughs> the old the old villager uh, trading system I built here. I see you up there. Oh, 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 I'm stuck. Oh. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're good. Anyway, let me get back up here. So I gotta, I gotta dig all this thing out now. Uh, yeah. So we got most of it. Where is it? Up here, dug out. I want to go deeper than this. Like I don't want to say much deeper, but another five or six blocks deeper down there. And obviously we're gonna have to tear out a lot of this stuff here. So I'll reclaim some of the redstone and all that stuff. And then I think this is generally the size. A little bit more of a curve on this one. I'll probably make it a little bit wider. You know, something like this or something like this. I don't know. We'll see. But let me get digging and tear out this old school build. So much green. I think it was like nine stacks of, of green concrete. Uh, and then I realized like halfway through this that, you know what? I don't think on the la on the original one over there, I don't think I actually used concrete. I think I left it as powder as the base. And I really should have done that because it's an actually brighter color. Eh, oh well, <laughs> I think it's better. I don't know. Would have saved me a lot of time too. Hello, hello there, skeleton. I'm going to have to kill the guys behind these walls here because they're going to take... They're going to affect my witch, witch spawn hut rates, whatever. Uh, all right, that was a lot of green. Uh, that was, that's a big hole. This, this is about as big as they're going to get, I think so. Now, to fill it in, let's see, how much how much glass do I have here? Do I have... Okay, we're, we're all set on glass, yeah. Let me put all the green away and pick up some of this and start placing the shiny clear stuff and hopefully we get a good looking ravine. Yep, this time we are definitely going with just a straight, like, you know, one solid layer of glass, solid layer of air, solid layer of air, that makes no sense. <laughs> solid layer of glass, skip a layer, another solid layer of glass, and we're just gonna go with that alternating pattern all the way up. Ooh yeah, halfway done or so. Like, I would say like 60% done with this thing and it's already looking a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot more consistent and just flows much better. And I think like already you can barely see the bottom down there. Once I get this up to the top, it's gonna look so good. <laughs> that is one very confused bat right now. Uh, that's all I have to say about him. Uh, okay, we're basically done here. The problem is, is I built it on a slant kind of. Well, I guess it's, I should say it in a slant, but it's it's like four or five blocks higher up there than it is down here. So like right here, this level of glass kind of looks good. I'm thinking of just doing like some step ups like this because I, I obviously I can't leave this all open. I got to go another level like this, I think. And yeah, we're going to have to like step it down. So let me finish up a little bit more of this. So much glass. I just completely underestimated the scope of this. Oh, let's see, we can't leave that there. Leave little lines there. All right, that's good. Good enough. Completely underestimated the scope of how much like this actually resources this actually took. I won't be making I won't be making any crevices this big anymore. This will definitely be the biggest one. I'll probably go with a little bit smaller ones. Uh, I don't want that to be flush with the nether axe. So let's put the slope down like right here. Let's see. We'll go down. Do a little bit like this, like a step, and then make it a little bit uneven, a couple little jaggies. Good. I like that. Uh, well, it's a little bit flush there. Do I have a couple? Okay, we'll go like that. Good. Let's see. I think this is good. I think this is good. Yeah, look at, look at that. There's a nice effect down there. That's pretty cool. All right, let me see what it looks like from the aerial view here. Fly it. Nope. Oh, flying. Taking off. Okay, there we go. Excellent. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's get up on top of... I almost ran into the wither skeleton. Hi there. He's like, I almost got my shot. Finally. I want to get right here. Okay. All right. I like it. You can still see the bat from over here. That's hilarious. What do you guys think? Is that good? Should I, should I curve it a little bit more? I think that's decent. And then it almost feels like there needs to be some, something extra, like on the edge. Like, you know, the lava plate, the lava pools. I put little nether wart, uh, you know splotches around it. I kind of like that. Probably actually too much over there. I got to cut back on that. I feel like there should be like little smaller veins. Maybe, maybe I'll do that. Let's, let's like make a little smaller vein, like go out right there. Like it's just, it's forking a little bit. I mean, one go up there and one go over there. We'll see what that looks like. Yep. Confirmed. I like it. I like it. That those extra little flares off the side there definitely, uh, definitely make it look a lot better, a lot more organic and natural. Like it's just cracking in there. Okay. That is cool. Uh, I'm pleased with those. I think, let's see here now. How many more of these do I need or want? I got two there, and I got, what do I got? One, just the one over here, right? I didn't put any over here yet, did I? No, I'd like to get one over here, 
And one over here. I'll probably put a decent sized one there and a very small one over here because this is so much hillier over here. Uh, but I'll do those in another episode, I think. Huh. What you... Wait, did snow actually grow on top of that one? Grow. Snow doesn't grow, you idiot. Did snow, like, appear there, I guess? Like, that is snow, right? Or is Scar trolling me again? Scar was by my base. He scared the heck out of me before. It... How... We're in, we're in extreme hills. Is this high enough? 93, what, what height does snow appear in extreme hills? I thought it was much higher than night. Well, I guess it might be 93, actually. Interesting. We'll have to see if we get snow on, or I, I'm guessing, yeah, there's no extreme hills out there, so there's only a few of these that actually could get snow. Interesting. Well, that's a thing, I guess. I'll have to do something about that. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be over today, guys. Uh, I was thinking about starting something new here with a little bit of time, but... We're pretty much out of time here for today, so I'm going to call it here. Uh, but we will be back soon. We will be back soon. And I want to hear from you guys what you want to see me. I'm assuming you guys want, to, want me to keep working on the base. Most of my comments are about finish the base, finish the base. So that's what I'm really trying to do here. Uh, I'm starting to get the itch to build the four towers. I may just tackle those all in one monster episode. Uh, but if there's something else you want me to do, if you want to see me do these little walkways in here or... Or do the big entrance out front here. Leave a comment. Let me know. And I'll, uh, I'll you know, shift my focus. A bit dependent on uh, what you guys think. We'll see. We'll see how it goes there. Hi, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> and, yeah, like I said, this is going to come out soon. And I think, unfortunately, as much as I like it, this I think that's got to come out too, guys. I can't have a princess fortress hanging outside my evil base here. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's got to go. I think it's got to go. There's going to be a, an explosive finale to the season, I think, on that one. We'll see. Uh, but let me know your thoughts, guys, on what you would like to see me do next. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.